How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clone. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. No, 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 no. I'm sorry about this. This is not meant to be how to clone yourself. This is, this is awkward. Let me fix it. All right, that's much better. How's it going, guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can clone your WordPress website. So if you guys are ready, let's get started with the tutorial. Cloning your website is basically when you make an exact copy of your existing website. You might be wondering what the difference is between cloning and migrating your website. The process between them is almost identical, but the main difference lies with the intention or purpose behind them. While migrating your website is intended to move your website from one host to another, cloning is making a copy of your website with the intention of testing changes to that website safely without affecting the actual live website. For example, you might want to make some major changes to your website, or you might want to give a copy of your website to your developers to troubleshoot some errors, or you might want to check the compatibility of your website with some new updates to themes or plugins. These are some common use cases of why you might want to clone your website. If you want to learn how to migrate your website instead, you can click on the link on the top right of your screen right now to check out our tutorial. And this right here is the website we'll be cloning in this demonstration. As you can see, we've got a fully loaded website. All I've done here is install the Astro theme along with the starter template. And if you don't know what starter templates are, they're professionally designed, fully functional, beautiful website templates that you can load up in just a single click, just like this one you see here. Everything right here, including the content, has all been loaded up through starter templates. If you want to check it out, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. To clone our website, the first thing we have to do is go into our WordPress dashboard. Let's go right here into dashboard. And here we are in our WordPress dashboard. To clone our website, we're going to be using a plugin. So we're going to go into plugins on the left hand side here, and we're going to press add new. And on the right hand side in the search bar, we're going to search for WP Vivid, just like this. And the one we're looking for is this one right here, migration, backup, staging, WP Vivid. Let's go and press install now. And we can also activate the plugin. And there we go. WP Vivid has automatically loaded up for us. And this is what it looks like within its menu. I've recommended this plugin many times on the channel before. It's really great at what it does and it's very easy to use. Whether you're choosing to back up your website, migrate or clone, the first step is basically the same. We're going to have to back up our website by clicking on this big backup now button. But on the left hand side, we have some options we can select from. We can choose to back up our database and files. We can choose to back up just the files or just the database itself as well. So I recommend we keep the database and files. So we have this option selected here. And on the right hand side in the middle, we have an option to choose where we save our backup. So currently it's going to save our backups to the local, but you can also choose to save it to a remote storage, including Google Drive, Dropbox, and a whole lot of options. So it's really cool to see that WP Vivid has these features. So I'm going to leave it on database and files and I'm going to leave it on save backups to local for now. And I'm going to press the backup now button. And there we go. We can see that one backup task has now been completed, which means our backup is good to go. And if I scroll down here under backups, we can see the backup that we just created right here. And here it shows you when that backup was created, where it's stored, and it gives you buttons to download that backup or to restore it onto your website. So basically this backup file that we just created is a copy of our website. What we can do now is actually go and press download right here, and that will prepare our backup file to download. Right there, it's good to go. Now we can press download again right here, and that will download our backup file onto our local computer. There we go, our backup has now finished downloading. And let's say that this is our live website right here. We now have a copy of that website that we can use to test new features, make any major changes without actually affecting our live website, which is really cool. So this backup file right here, you can use it on your local machine, restore it onto another instance of WordPress. You can even send this backup file to your developers so they can load up your website and fix any errors that may have popped up. So what we'll do next is we'll go onto a new instance of WordPress and I'll show you how we can restore this backup, essentially copying it from this website and pasting it onto another. So essentially copying this website and pasting it onto our new instance of WordPress. And this is our second website right here. As you can see, there's nothing on this. All I've done is install the Astro theme and nothing else. So again, we're going to go into our WordPress dashboard and here we are in the dashboard. And just like our previous site, we're going to use WP Vivid to restore our backup. But I've actually gone ahead and installed WP Vivid ahead of time. So we have that right here, WP Vivid backup. What we can do now is press backup and restore. And that brings us into a familiar WP Vivid dashboard. But unlike before, instead of backing up our website using this big button here, we're going to scroll down here and beside the backups tab, we also have upload. So we can press the upload there. And what we can do is select that file that we just downloaded. So I'm going to press select files. And there we go. I've just selected that backup that we created earlier. It's right there. And we can go and press upload right here. And you can see on the right hand side, it's slowly uploading our backup onto our second website. And there we go. Our upload has been completed. We can press OK right here. And if we scroll down now under our backups, you can see that we have that backup that we just uploaded, but now it's sitting within the backups tab. 
So here it looks just like it did on the first website as a backup file. And now what we can do is go and restore that backup by pressing this button here. So let's do that now. We're going to restore that and we're going to press restore right here as well. And it asks us, are you sure to continue? We're going to press OK. Remember, there's nothing on this website here. And if everything works as it should, this website should look exactly like our first website. Restore completed successfully. We can press OK right here. And you might notice here that it's logged us out of our WordPress website. And what we have to do here is log in using the login credentials of our first website. Because right now, our second website has been replaced with the copy or backup of that first website. So we have to log in using the credentials for that first website. So we can go ahead and enter those now. And there we go. I've just logged back in. And as you can see from the color scheme, it looks like our first website. And to confirm if our website has been cloned successfully, let's go and check out the front end. I'm going to go here and press visit site. And there you go. As you can see right here, it looks exactly like our first website. Our website from the first domain has been successfully cloned onto the second domain. You have an exact clone of your website where you can make any changes you want without compromising your live website. If you have any questions about the process I've covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you got value from this video, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo right here. And if you want to learn how to migrate your WordPress website, you can click on the video over here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.